How cool is this fog and mist? The visibility is quite low as you can see and I've only around 20 minutes left until darkness so I'll kind of have to find somewhere to pitch the tent soon but it's very boggy and marshy around here so I want to just get over this mountain here I've got a, a nice trail to follow and uh, hopefully it doesn't get too marshy up ahead but yeah if I can find a campsite soon all the better Well I did my best to notice when the call came down the line up to the platform of surrender Nice one There's some pine forest up ahead I love the smell of pine I think you all know that Pineen I love the smell of pineen in the morning. <laughs> I love the smell of pineen in the morning. <laughs> as far as I know, this here is Killikee Mountain. I say as far as I know because I haven't taken the map out in the last two hours. Let's carry on. Just looking for somewhere to camp in here now. It's not too wet, so just looking for a flat spot. And we'll be sorted for the night. You know, this is actually my last night in Dublin and i had such a great christmas such an amazing christmas with family and friends and it's very important to me that because it's the best christmas i've had in ireland since 2006 a long time right and i really enjoyed it the reason it's so important to me is because the longer i've stayed in ireland i've been back here since june the longer i've stayed here the more i've realized that i'm, I'm where i want to be I want to have especially that sense of community, my friends and family around me, but also the connection that I have with the culture and the land and the heritage and the people of Ireland, you know, it's my country, there is no other place like home. So it was the greatest decision, it's the greatest decision to come back to Ireland in June and I'm looking, f just looking forward to good times here. You know, no matter how many times you come up here to do something like this, it's always different. Because you're always in a different mind space. So I say, camping is always the answer. It doesn't matter what the question is. There's something about these lights, you know, it's like staring into a campfire, it's very hypnotic. And when you stand over the lights like this, it's almost as though the lights are telling you that, you know, number one, you're, you're being told your place in the world, that you're very small, you know, and that there's a bigger, much bigger picture out there. But then number two, the city lights are always there, you know, they go on and off, but they're always there, so in some metaphorical way, that, that's telling us that it's going to be 